Hello YouTube, it is Hannah from Smuggish here. Hi. Um, and this is a bit of a different video because quite a few of you, uh, well, one person on the comments so far, but I've had a few other sort of private messages from people have said that, yeah, you'd like me to do a bullet journal flip through. So this is my bullet journal. Um, I'm on my desk. Yeah. Um, and this is just, I don't even know, this is just a, I think it's a moleskin. Uh, squared one and i've not quite finished my bullet journal yet i've got a few more pages i think probably i'll be able to do july and august and then i'll move on to my next one but yeah um i thought i would do a quick flick through show you what i've got in my bullet journal so far so thank you very much if that's the kind of thing you are interested in i'll just my fingers are talking to you if that's the kind of thing you'd be interested in then uh please do uh keep watching and remember down down below to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's have a look at my bullet journal. So, yeah, I actually started this over a year ago, which is insane. But yeah, so bullet journal 2019. Um, I started doing it properly. You know, I had like a key and everything, but that didn't really last very long. But I'm just kind of doing it myself. So this is like, um, I did get a lot of these spread ideas off Pinterest. This is my birthdays and holidays spread. Like I said, I've done this, this is over a year ago. So this was future log for 2018 and 2019, which is terrifying. Uh, so that's the first six months of that, those years. And this was the big picture of 2019. If you have a look, um, there, that's what I was going to move to Sterling. That's my moving to Sterling time. So yeah goodness me um a reading log uh i think i just gave up logging i gave up writing down what i was reading but um yeah i um my aim for this year is to read 40 books which i am over halfway through so that's good then what have we got here these are just like fruits and veggies i like to give me ideas of things to buy in cupboard staples this was me sort of preparing to go off and move to scotland um, and do all that stuff. Yeah, so this was me preparing to go and live. Um, as was this, didn't really do much. This was gonna be like my diet planner and weight and stuff, but you know, there we, we, we move on. Uh, fitness goals, workout schedule, all of that stuff. <laughs> Financial overview and annual goals. I obviously really took this spread seriously, but we'll just skip past that. Then I have my new year goals, my new year's resolutions, um, which I think I then kind of, Reevaluate. Um, but yeah, those are the kind of things I wanted. And this was a mood tracker, which I kind of I wasn't able to keep it up. But the idea is that every single square of this grid is a different day, um, and then I sort of like keep track of how I was feeling. Um, I've learned very quickly that anything like this, that's to be honest with you, too much effort, I don't keep up with. So <laughs> um, there's that. Then I had self care, the stop method um morning and evening routines um these are sort of good obviously i'd left space to try and like add to this but there you go um and my chore list this is this is actually one of the most useful things especially when it came to sort of living on my own uh this was really useful <laughs> meditation and yoga log i started well but i just honestly i did do this i do do this i mean i've got out of the habit recently because of lockdown but i have been doing both of these things i just have i always forget to, to add it to the log but that's okay that's the thing about a bullet journal is you can it's it's a journey and it's you know you you have the opportunity to find out what works for you uh, and then i uh, I want to learn to, and then let the adventure begin. Um, so the things that I wanted to learn to, which was different to New Year's goals. Then this is how I started it out. Um, I started out doing sort of like, you'll see every month pretty much the same. Again, this was a habit tracker that I just I just didn't, didn't keep up with. And then sort of this is how I was doing my weekly spreads. Um, I did quite like this, but it was just too much these are my dungeons and dragons characters from the time um i've got completely different ones pretty much now which is it's fine uh and then again february you'll see like they're all pretty much the same um i've got sort of like seasonal uh produce reminders to try and eat more seasonally uh so yeah again march is pretty much the same um 
April was the same. And then I completely skipped over, I think, May. But this was, I was going back to being a, a classroom teacher. So I thought I'd do just a summer term future log with all the sort of work dates and stuff that I needed in. This was actually a really good idea um, and quite fun to do. Uh, pen inventory, because I was, you know starting to plan for going to uni so I wanted to see what I had, what stationery I had, what what pens I liked writing with because I wrote a little notes this this year so I wanted to know what were the most comfortable pens. Um, uni shopping list. I actually ended up not really needing to do this much because I had lots of stuff already um, and the five things to do before September. I don't think I did many of these things but um, there we go. Uh, the May... I think this might have been when, yeah, so I kind of gave up. I did a birthday tarot spread. I did nice uh, lettering, but I never filled it in. And then it was time to go to uni. Um, I'm really proud of this spread. I really like how it looked. Um, so I did my first term, my first semester timetable. Um, this was actually, I really liked this idea. And then a sort of like just calendar of the semester. And then different title ideas. And then my grade sheet. This was one of the best uh, ideas I had. And you'll see I got straight distinctions that term. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Second term didn't go quite as well. But yeah, I got straight distinctions um, in my first term. Um, and then, yeah, I just kind of like took it as, as I needed it, really. Took it as it came. So uh, this was like a week last push before Christmas, week of um, sort of assignments and planning and all of those kind of things. Um, so this was me um, keeping track of things I needed to do for two different assignments. This was a presentation on Robert Aikman. Um, if you've watched my last video, you'll know that I'm actually doing my dissertation on Robert Aikman. Um, and then this was uh, tracking what I wanted to do for my monster theory essay, which I got the highest grade I've got so far in my course for this like not out of everyone people have got higher than me but this is my personal highest grade so you yeah. off um and then again this is like a get this essay done so this is a uh, kind of thursday to thursday um this was the obviously this i think this was the day before it was due um because it was normally due on fridays so i was like no i want to get it done so this was my sort of like a weekly spread of just essay stuff um, this actually really worked, so I probably will do this again when it's time for uh, dissertation deadline. Um, then I went to see Ghost, so I thought I would do a quick page spread of like memories, because that was an amazing night. They are my favourite ever band. So yeah, this was um, a little thing I did just to jot down some ideas, dissertation ideas. I don't think I ever did any of these asexual gothic issues of gender and sexuality those are the two those are kind of what i'm doing now uh weird stories lovecraft mark and aikman i'm sort of doing those things and one of these is my phd idea now um i did this this was so cute and i'm gonna have to remember to do that again this year because i really liked it even though i didn't quite do it every single day um it was a really fun thing to do so the idea is it's countdown to christmas so it's like a little advent calendar in my bullet journal um oh i'm gonna have to do but i just really liked the lettering that i did for that um i get a lot of my lettering if it's like oh now i'm not gonna be able to if it's not just the you know like general brush lettering um there's a website called dafont that i sort of get ideas for lettering from um it's like where you can download different fonts and stuff um so yeah it's really useful if you're doing anything you need some fancy lettering fancy fonts um so yeah that's my advent calendar spread then my sort of christmas gift list um for different people and then a uh, christmas bucket list i think we did quite a few of those things so that's good um then just weekly spreads this is when i started getting really into washi tape as you can see started getting into washi tape <laughs> again just some more christmasy things um then this was reading lists, checklists reading lists so writing down things that i needed to read for my different um modules um these actually reading lists changed but you know most of these turned out to be useful which is fine um again another 
uh, module reading list. Um, then this is a sort of like this was a really good idea. These are the sort of um, sort of course tutor details, so names, office numbers, and email addresses. So um, that's just a useful page to do. Um, then yeah, just another weekly overview. This is when I started like experimenting with different layouts. Um, then this is my semester two timetable. So yeah, obviously because of COVID though, that didn't happen all the time, which was really sad. But while we were still having uni, this was my timetable. Um, and then my goals for 2020. Um, I need to look it through this actually and see which ones I've managed to keep up with. But yeah, so that's my 2020 resolution -y things. And here are my, my grades for semester two. So you can see... Uh, I got a merit overall in my modernity module. I got a distinction in my new directions module, but I also got a merit in my special subject, which means my average for the semester was a was a merit, which is annoying. But my average overall, my grade average is still just a distinction. So, you know, no pressure, but I, I need to get a distinction in my dissertation, which I needed anyway, because really because I want to do PhD need to get a distinction yeah and then just another some weekly spreads we, again you can see I'm really sort of having a go at playing with different ways of laying out my weekly spreads um future log 2020 future log uh a different weekly spread I quite like this one actually I liked how I did this writing here um video ideas I think I've done some of these, but yeah, this is just so I can like keep track of things that I want to video and cross them off when I've done them. Uh, again, I quite like this whole, you'll see I've used this kind of uh, layout quite a lot where I have like doodles in the middle and then the days and stuff on the outside. Um, this was cool. So this is my bucket list page. So this is my life bucket list stuff. Um, and then I saw this. So this is an about me page. So I drew a little... I drew a little self-portrait of myself. I wrote things about me. I wrote like personal details about myself. So here I've got that I'm an INFP. I'm a Taurus. I'm a Hufflepuff. This is I'm nearly 30 there, but I am 30 now. Master student, qualified teacher. And then I've got things that I like and things that I dislike. I just thought that was a really cute thing. Uh, meal plan. Um, this was actually really good. So I need to keep doing this. Um, and sort of a grocery list for what I would need for that meal plan and then things to do instead of eating because um, it will obviously be a, a quite a difficult video but if anyone wants me to talk about my struggles I do struggle with binge eating and stuff so I'm very happy to film a video about that um, I saw this, I'm not going to lie and say I made this up I saw this and I loved it so I wanted to do it it's my ideal, okay not the one I actually manage these are my ideal morning and evening routines. So, there you go. Uh, yeah, again, weekly spread. I thought this was like Emerald City-ish. <laughs> um, and then here, I need to fill this in. I have created my own D&D &D setting called Zadravia, which is like a city-state. So, I'm going to fill in details of that here. Um, again, I tried another kind of uh, weekly spread. Another meal plan, self-care checklist. Another weekly spread. Um, some lettering ideas, some fun ideas. I've sort of popped down. I really like this flowery one. This was an idea I nicked from my friend Ellen. Um, all the pride flags, because I knew most of them, but some of them I was unsure about. So I thought I would pop them all down here. Um, things to do during quarantine. Again, I saw someone like suggest this. Um, and I've actually done quite a few of them. Not all of them, but I've done quite a few of them. And then this, like, little darkness comes after... Uh, sorry, dawn comes after the darkness quote to try and keep happy. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to write my favourite poem. So my favourite poem is The Kraken by Alfred Lord Tennyson. And then I drew a little Kraken boy in loads of tentacles. Um, I just love this poem so much. Um, and then here, this is what you would have seen if you saw my other video. So I decided to do like a whole theme for every month. So for April, I did a Pokemon theme. So I drew these. I'm just like, 
my starter Pokemon. They kind of went a bit peak tongue. Bulbasaur looks interesting. I think the best one probably is Charmander. Oh no, Squirtle looks like he's contemplating life. But then <laughs> I did, if I can, this is really difficult. Yeah, Meowth. I'm really proud of that Meowth. That is a good Meowth. So yeah. Uh, and then, so every weekly spread, I did sort of a different evolutionary line or typing. So uh, first week is Raichu and Pikachu. Then this week is the, the Gengar evolutionary line and I'm really happy with how I drew these boys. And then the idea was like the weak thing. So this is Shadow Ball. This is obviously Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball. Then I've got, um... oh God, I can't remember which one this is. It's not Swift, maybe Hyper Beam or something. Cause this is a uh, Jigglytuff and Clefairy. So this is the fairy, sort of, I guess, fairy normal types. Um, then my favorite evolution double although now i've said this before my favorite evolution is now sylveon but these two are my other favorites as well so this is swift um eevee umbreon and espion and then vulpix and nine tails because i love nine tails um and vulpix and then that's fire blast um and this was my birthday week and then this is uh the spread that i saw I have written more than a thousand words now, by the way. Um, but this is the spread that I showed you um, in my What's in My Uni Bag video. So my dissertation sort of tracking spread. And this is my sort of PhD tracking spread where I've got like a to-do list and ideas when I've like identified a potential supervisor. So um, I've already written one down, but I won't have, um, I haven't emailed anyone yet. So this is just to do that. Um, then my boyfriend helped me sort of put together a kind of uh workout and nutrition program um things i learned 30 things i learned in 30 years which i need to sit down and fill in then this was like a, a load of quotes about age because i really wasn't feeling happy about turning 30 so i just wrote down some motivational quotes um reading books um bucket list so books i want to read that i've never read um then this i just decided to draw a halfling crew so these are different DD characters that i want to play i'm currently playing anders calm gallo in a curse of strad campaign um i really want to play this this lady here she is a halfling totem barbarian her name is leda swift feather she's so cool but they're all cool i love halflings and then here as in part part of my sort of DD stuff these are yondala's children so this is the halfling sort of pantheon these are the halfling gods um timora i know people might be like if you know anything about DD, the halflings are starting to accept her as one of their own which is why i've included her and one of my favorite halfling characters is dedicated to Timora, so I thought I'd put there. So we've got Timora, Yandala, Sheila Perry Royal, Ura Garland, um Arvarine, Brandabaris, and Siralali. Siralali, sorry. <laughs> it's really hard to say that one. So yeah. Halfling gods. Um addresses with my little friendly quote. Um then I started doing a Harry Potter theme for me. Um and I kind of let it slide and then I don't really mind because <sighs> JK Rowling did a whole thing and you know it's kind of got me feeling kind of way so this was going to be my Hufflepuff week so I left it I decided to leave the week blank and then here was my Hello June which again using some washi tapes um and I really liked doing this this was really fun um and this was using the new brush pen that my friend Emma got me um again more washi tape and I really liked this so again I kept it kind of on a theme um so the theme was like loosely pride um based um so yeah and then this is a poem about summer by jean claire so i did a little summary doodle at the bottom because then i've got my sims 4 cheat codes uh because this is this is an important thing i am i'm so impatient i, I can't be dealing with building up skills and all that stuff so this is my sim as well cheat codes <laughs> and then we're on to july so i've done my july monthly spread um we're going to ignore the fact that i ran out of space to do the last figure here um but obviously as you can probably tell uh this is star wars themed <laughs> no so i'm gonna do lord of the rings theme so um each weekly spread is gonna have its own thing and then this is very important these are how to make hybrid flowers 
in Animal Crossing. So yeah, probably one of the most important spreads in here. Um, and then I sort of started doodling ideas for my cartoon tattoo sleeve. And that's all I've got so far in my bullet journal. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye, bye, bye.